Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP video series. In this video, we'll be going to discuss about the GUI development using Tkinter in Python. So as you know that Python can be used for database programming, Python can be used for application programming, Python can be used for managing charts or developing charts. Also, Python can be used to create a GUI. So, can be used for GUI development. And to develop a GUI application in Python, we need to import a library or a package that is called Tkinter. So, what is a Tkinter? Tkinter is a Python binding to the TK GUI toolkit. It is a standard library for Python to develop GUI applications. So basically to develop a GUI application in Python, this is one of the most important or this is one of the very important package which can be used. Python when combined with Tkinter, it provides a fast and easy way to create GUI applications. Tkinter provides a powerful object oriented interface to the TK GUI toolkit. So creating a GUI application using Tkinter is an easy task. All we need to do is we need to work on following steps. So first is we need to import the Tkinter module in our Python. Then we will be we need to create the GUI application main window. Then add one or more of the above mentioned widgets to the GUI applications and enter the main event loop to take action against each event triggered by the user. So let me demonstrate you how can we set up Tkinter on our system. So for this, I'll log open py command and here I write pip install Tkinter. So, so this will be the command to install Tkinter. And once the Tkinter is set up, we just want to check whether it has been installed or not. So I'll just switch to Python and in Python I write here T K I N T E R. And you can see it's not showing any error message. This means this package has been successfully installed. And if you want to if you want to know that whether it has been installed or not. So I'll switch to the Python library Python 22.7 version and here expand it lib side packages and here if you if I scroll down you can see the Tkinter files has been successfully installed with various packages so this folder has been successfully installed now let's check a dummy program for Python for Tkinter how can we use this Tkinter in Python so I open ideally then create a new file and within this file I write a program from Tkinter import tk comma frame to create frame comma both then let's create a class class example and I pass the frame as a parameter to this class def underscore underscore in it and in this self comma parent self for this cell cell function and frame because we are inheriting this frame class so this parameter will pass to the constructor for this particular frame pack class frame dot underscore underscore in it this is how we can pass the constructor how can we initiate the constructor of this frame class so self comma parent comma background equal to white I set the background to white and I write self dot parent is equal to parent and self dot init user interface this that's the first function then I create the self dot init user interface I define this function and create this function and in this function I write self dot parent dot title 
sample and self dot back fill is equal to both comma expand is equal to one and I need to call the function so I write def main function and in this main function first I create root is equal to tk root dot specify the pixels so pixels I specified 250 multiply 250 multiply 150 plus 300 plus 300 and app is equal to example root and root dot this is to enter into the main loop so that it will initiate this init parameter this frame class and in this frame class it initiate the constructor so that it can display the window main loop and I check here write a condition if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then it will sorry then it will initiate the main function so let's first of all save this program so I'll save this program tick enter example save it so let's test this so I'll simple run it run f5 and you can see as soon as I run it execute it a window has been opened named title as sample which we have defined here sample and this can be expand and the background color has been set to white and if I close this it will work like an actual window and if I click on close this window will be closed and the program will be terminated successfully and if I'll change few of the settings for example I set the background color is equal to green and if this expand is equal to zero let's say I, ex I click here expand is equal to one and when I run we cannot see the we can see the background color set to white here. so this is how we can this we can set the color as well so this is a very basic this is a simple program just to display just to create an window and in same manner if I would like to create a button instead of quitting from the instead of clicking on this cross button to terminate this program I want to add a button here and the label of that button will be quit and when the user clicked on that quit button this window will be closed or the program will be terminated to initiate that or to create that we need to change the we need to add few more libraries into it so I write here from TTK import button comma style this should be same and uh, this will be same there is no need to I'm not modifying anything it's just set this back to white in its style and after this parent dot title simple I'm just going to add a style here so I write here self dot style is equal to style and uh, self dot st style dot theme underscore use default so whatever will be the default style it will be applied self dot pack and we need to add a button to this so first of all I create a button so I create a button named as quit button is equal to button self dot self comma and then text text on that or the label on that button will be quit and command is equal to self dot quit and I need to add this button so I need to place this button on the window so quit button dot place 
place function will be used to place the button on the control and we need to specify the position so x comma 50 x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 50 so it will place the button on the x and y position so that's the program that's the program and let's run this program and now when i execute this program you can see a window a dialog a window has been created with a button on it and the label of that button is quit and when we click on this quit this window will be terminated so you can see it has been terminated successfully so that's all in this tick enter introduction of tick enter and how can we, so today we have learned in this video how can we create a tick enter how can we create a GUI application by using a tick enter and what's the use of, of a tick enter that's all in this video if you have any queries you can get back to us or you can con contact to us on www.bisbtrainings.com till then have a nice day bye bye